Kids back in school and they're still dealing yes. with some of the heat. Yeah, a little summer heat. You know, typically it hangs on into the first week or two of September. Yeah. But this time of the year, we're like talking about football, back to school, and we're like, come on. Where's fall? Yeah, where's, where's fall? fall at? We're waiting. We're going to pump the brakes a little bit here. All right, we have at least a month or so before we really start to see some fall weather. And outside right now, it is a summer-like Saturday evening here. Beautiful look at downtown Oklahoma City. Live look from Regency from Pike Pass Skycam Network. Right, 84 degrees, a southeast wind at around 10. Not much wind, or not much of a wind gust out there. The winds have been light the last two days, and they'll remain light here for the overnight under clear skies is a dew point of 62 degrees not bad humidity wise just a hint of humidity especially with those calm winds but you've got a fan over you not too bad 80 degrees right now in Ponca City 85 in Tulsa uh, 78 in McAllister out towards the west and southwest 83 in Hobart and an 86 there in Clinton with a southeast breeze it has been hot we've seen pretty steady heat this summer is a typical we have some periods that we some cooler weather but not this year june was above normal july was well above normal and august looks right now will continue to be above average but the last week of august here starting next week we do see a change in the pattern that might cool us down a little bit but dating back to 1890 we're at 16th warmest on average, 82.1. Again, temperatures, highs and lows. But look at August. Looks like July. We only had a couple of days in July that was actually below average, and all 13 days have been above average. And we'll do it again at least three more days. But by Wednesday and Thursday of next week, we could actually be below our average high temperature of 93 degrees. Big bubble of high pressure, the heat dome. That's where it's been parked. It's gone west, north, south, a little bit. But overall, here in the southern plains, jet stream off towards the north. But what's going to happen? It's going to break down and move off towards the west, south, or west, northwest, and kind of bump the ridge across uh, western Canada. And that will dislodge some cooler air that will make it here across the southern plains and provide us with jet stream energy along with Gulf Mexico moisture that will change our pattern from a sunny and dry pattern to maybe a little stormy. Cross our fingers, let's hope for it. Drought conditions continue. But for right now, tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday, we're in the heat. Sunny, hot, what you've been seeing. But rain could be coming with that first cold front that comes in Tuesday night into Wednesday that will cool us down across the state with a northeast wind but overall, still very warm. We'll warm up in the lower 90s beyond that Thursday, Friday, Saturday of next weekend. But it still looks like we get more stormy weather just beyond the nine day period. And some of the weather models uh, continue, and it's been co pretty consistent on that for the last 10 days or seven to 10 days of uh, August. We could see some nice widespread rain. So let's hope for that in highs, maybe into the 70s for a day or two. 70s overnight. For overnight lows, lots of sunshine tomorrow. We'll top out around 98, 99 degrees. A nice southeast wind, light in nature. Again, not much wind. 98 here, lower 100s out towards the west. Monday, a little bit warmer. We could be around 101 to 103 as we head towards Tuesday before that front comes in. Tuesday night into Wednesday, only about a 30 to 40 percent chance spotty showers and thunderstorms. It does not look like a heavy rain event, maybe a quarter inch of rain in a couple spots. So this first front just cools us down into the 80s, 90s late week, and then there's that bigger weather system and a cold front maybe in about nine days. Steve's up next with sports.